Uh, he was not feeling very well yesterday, and we were just hoping he'd come to school today, and then he, he looked a little bit better, but not good. And early in the first quarter, he was already asking to come out within three four minutes of the game, which is not like him. Uh, I think with about five or five and a half minutes left in the fourth quarter, he asked to come out, and he sat next to me, and I said, you know we need you. <laughs> so he rested for about a minute and a half. He said, I'll go back in. He didn't look like he was ready, but he checked himself back in, and I just said, follow through and get some arch on your free throws. And he knocked him down, thank goodness. Uh, and I thought one of the biggest things is, for a bit when they started hitting shots, we started playing at their pace and uh, too fast. And uh, when we started slowing the game down a little bit, we started scoring with them at least. We gave them too many second uh, chance opportunities, I thought. Uh, with the rebounding advantage we should have on them, I was disappointed with that. But FM played very hard, very scrappy. And uh, a lot of the shots they weren't hitting the first half, they started hitting there in the second half. All right, Jake stepped up pretty big there with a couple of threes in the fourth quarter, answering what Switzer was just on fire for a while there, I guess. Uh, talk about those two big shots. They were, uh, they were out there a ways. Well, two things. We told Story to quit helping. <laughs> he loves getting steals, and he yeah. gets a lot of them by leaving his man. And we just said, quit helping. You got Switzer, that's it. And he did a good job from that, that point on. And then... Uh, Jacob, those two, two three, uh, threes gave us quite a bit of confidence because we were struggling at that point. And so everything else on our offense started clicking after those two shots. Obviously, uh, it's a great week, corner conference tournament. You've been a part of them for a, for a while here. And I guess getting back to the championship, first time in a couple of years for East Mills. Uh, yep. What's that like for you? Well, it's a great opportunity for these kids because none of these kids have got a chance to right. get on the floor really and play. If they did, it was been you know, at the last mm -hmm. minute or so. Um, so it's, I feel great for these kids. You know, I don't know how many much longer I'm going to go, and now, you know, this might be my last time in a game like this. So you better cherish these moments and, and really enjoy them, win or lose. Are you but announcing your retirement? Win. Are you announcing your retirement right now? Yes, I promised I'll <laughs> retire within the next ten years. Okay, all right. Thanks, Coach. Great job. Thank you. I don't even know. It's just just went out there and played as best as I could and hoped for the best. So many times you were, it was you going to the free throw line for the big free throws, I guess. So what was going through your mind when you stepped up there? I just got to put arch on it. Coach kept telling me if you shoot it flat, it doesn't go in. If you put arch on it, it does. So that's what I was concentrating on. A couple of times there you were kind of in and out and out, in and out. And it, it, tell us about that. Were you just kind of about ready to lose your lunch or what was going on there? Yeah, I was just winded. It's so much harder when you're sick. I'm not used to it, so I just had to take as many breaks as I had to. Well, back to the uh, corner conference final for the first time in a couple of years, I guess. What's, what's that feel like for you? Feels great. I've never been there. Hope to get in that, though. All right. Either, either way, any kind of – does it matter to you who you play, Heartland Christian or, or uh, Sydney? Doesn't matter. All right. Congratulations. Great job. Thank you.